The Windy City was one of the surprisingly strong stories of 2010, and after a couple of so-so quarters, Chicago stormed back with a very impressive performance in 2Q 2011, very strong rent growth. Welcome to Apartment Art Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Windy City update. The story of the Chicago apart market is pretty similar for the story for the U.S. as a whole. Strong demand in the first half of 2010, followed by a bit of a lull in the colder months, and then robust demand again in the second quarter 2011. 6,350 units absorbed in the April to June time frame, and with that, Chicago has now absorbed more than 26,000 units over the past two years. You have to go back a long time to see numbers this good over a two-year stretch. And it certainly helps that Chicago is adding jobs again. Chicago added about 22,000 jobs over the past year, and of course, that'll always help drive demand. And so, apartment occupancy is approaching the 95% mark again. That's up roughly one point in the quarter and in the year, but you can see from this chart there's still a bit of work to do since occupancy topped 96% uh, as recently as 2007 prior to the recession. The overall rate is still being held back a bit by some weakness in some new lease-up properties, especially in the in-town Chicago area, have some high-end developments that came on just at the wrong time. In fact, let's zoom in on that submarket in-town Chicago. You can see occupancy there took a big-time fall in 2008, and that happened for two reasons. Number one, the recession, obviously, and number two, a bunch of new supply was coming into the market and obviously poorly timed. And new product just kept coming in over the next couple years and that kept overall occupancy pretty weak. And it's just taken a longer period of time for these properties to lease up because they're dealing not only with a soft economy, but also with a lot of competition from privately owned condos offered for lease. But we are finally seeing a lot of good progress in these newer properties, newer apartment properties in the in-town Chicago area, and that is driving overall occupancy growth in this submarket. And by the way, if we were to exclude properties in the in-town area built prior to 2010, occupancy in that submarket would be closer to 95%. So there is some strength in that market. Now let's shift gears to the real big story in Chicago for 2Q, and that was rent growth. Chicago ranked third nationally with a same-store rent hike of 3.2% between March and June. Only San Jose and San Francisco recorded bigger increases. This was also Chicago's largest quarterly hike in at least four years. And year over year, the numbers are just as impressive. Rents jumped 5.4%, and that was the Metro's biggest upturn in a decade. This isn't a place that typically records much rent growth, and so to see those kind of numbers is very impressive. Uh, and here's what's especially interesting. Take a look at this chart showing annual rent change by product age group. Huge disparity. Big rent growth of 6 to 8% in apartments built in the 1980s, 1970s, and prior to 1970. But in properties constructed in the 2000s, same-store rents climbed only 0.6%. Well, how'd that happen? Well, in nearly half of Chicago's submarkets, we actually saw prices decline in 2000 era properties. And one of those was the in-town area. And what's happened is, is that we have a lot of shadow market competition in some of these submarkets. For example, we mentioned the condos offered for lease in the in-town area. And in some of these suburban areas, we have a lot of single family homes offered for lease. And a lot of these properties, the owners are just desperate to lease out at any price, and that is really holding back rent growth in the top tier of Chicago's apartment market in some of these submarkets. So that may remain a factor going forward, but Chicago's overall fundamentals, plus an improving job market and very little supply in the apartment side, should really help apartment revenues continue to surge in the coming year, and it wouldn't be surprising to see Chicago's apartment sector set another high mark for rent growth by middle of 2012. So that wraps us up for Chicago. Until next time, for Apartment Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.